I know exactly who you are and what you want. You are a beginner or intermediate programmer and while learning you want to make money. This is the perfect video for you. Today I will teach you three ways of generating revenue as you study programming, all of which are super profitable and you will be able to continue your game dev learning path while of course having amazing earnings. Now let's start. Way number one, YouTube channel. Having a YouTube channel is probably one of the best ways to actually uh, start earning money while you're learning programming due to the fact that you can have your own schedule so you don't really have to give up on learning but you can also start creating content about what you are learning how you are learning it giving some tips to uh, somebody that is maybe uh, trying as you to learn so you can basically start creating videos about your path that you are following in order to start learning or you can actually start teaching people what you're learning if you have just taken a course about i don't know how to create a, a website how to create a game etc you can actually create a tutorial about that not only you are able to create tutorials and to showcase your own profile but also you are able to generate income through ads revenue but actually the most important income source in all uh, youtube and in all social media platforms are advertisements that are outside of the platform basically affiliations and sponsorships etc that you may have with some brands or, of or companies that in most cases they pay much more than just ad revenue that youtube gives you so it's quite important for you to actually consider all these income sources and now I will explain how I personally organize this so that you can start applying my techniques right away. So basically in my YouTube channel, I have two main type of contents right now. Things are relating jobs, earning money, showcasing your profile online, building your personal branding, game development, etc. And then I also have tutorials about Goodout. Okay, Goodout Mobile, Goodout in general, etc. Um, and I try to upload four videos weekly, okay? That's a lot of videos, but you don't really have to be uploading things uh, super frequently, okay? By just having one video every week or every 10 days, it will be okay. Of course, the most videos that you can upload, the better, but it's not mandatory to actually upload a bunch of videos, okay? And as I was telling you, besides uh, ad revenue, okay, that I'm gonna show you my analytics right away, so, for example, in the last uh, 28 days, I have been able to make over $40. That's not just a super bad amount. How many counts that I only have 6K of subscribers? Let's say that it's not a super big channel. Um, but actually, most of the revenue and things come outside YouTube, okay? Let me quickly explain this because probably this is the most important thing in all the video. Because basically when you have a YouTube channel, what you are creating is a personal brand. Basically the product is you, okay? And not only the videos that you create and information that you are sharing. So basically here in YouTube, you always have a way of contacting the creator. You can always leave an email in the description of the video and people may start reaching out to you. Basically they will offer you maybe showcasing some things in your videos and I will pay you. they will pay you for that or even... Or even um, long-term opportunities of jobs working with them why because they have already built trust with you because you have already created videos here and you are already showcasing your skills here so this also works as a portfolio let's say as well so not only you will be able to generate ads revenue and sponsorships and affiliation revenue that is much better than advertisement purely on youtube but also you have the chance of let's say getting a career or building a career at some company because they already know you from youtube way number two freelance jobs imagine having your own schedule being able to work with particular clients and literally being able to work anywhere you may be at the beach in other country etc and you may still be able to keep on with your schedule learning programming that's something that is possible thanks to freelance jobs so when it comes to freelance jobs there are lots of platforms that we may use so first of all you may even uh, get some freelance jobs as I was telling you through your YouTube channel because may people may start reaching out to you So you may get there some particular clients, but also on LinkedIn Okay, and I'm gonna be explaining a uh, lot of LinkedIn in just a couple of minutes um, Because here you have your profile and basically you have your description here You can post things here Okay, and the thing all here is that, for example, if somebody looks for Unity game developer, I may appear as a profile, okay? Because here, let's look, for example, Unity game developer, okay? And here, a lot of people will appear um, 
as you can see here unity game developer unity game developer unity game developer so if a recruiter is looking for unity game developer i may appear over here on my case okay so that's other way in which i may get a job also here on linkedin you have to make sure that you have a good looking banner and a good looking profile picture that matches in colors uh, and also make sure that all of the different sections uh, are correctly covered. I mean, you have a good future section, you have uh, some interesting posts, some about me section, etc. And there are also other sections that are quite important, the experience uh, and other things that you can check yourself, okay? So you can just connect with me on LinkedIn. I will be leaving a link to my LinkedIn profile in the description. So you can just connect with me and take a look, uh, a deeper look into my profile, okay? And then other platforms that you can really start taking a look at are platforms such as Fiverr, okay? Basically, here you have your own profile again, and here you have the different services that you offer. Um, so yeah, here again, people may start reaching out to you because they want to have your services. And it's just the same way of just having uh, to, to create actually your network and to start building trust in your profile. So the key point here is to start getting, for example, here some reviews to start building trust in your clients, to start also building your portfolio because here people will actually pay you to create games, for example, in my case, and you will start to build your portfolio that you can then showcase here on Fiverr, you can showcase on LinkedIn, and you can showcase in your own YouTube channel. So that's the good thing also, that is like an infinite loop where you create one piece of content and then you can share that piece that you have created in all the different platforms that you are. Some advantages here are the fact that you can, again, have your own schedule because you are not like in, a, in an ordinary nine to five jobs, job but on the other hand you have your own clients so you can basically have your own schedule you can organize yourself and it's quite the advantages are quite similar to youtube in terms of organization that here you can upload as many videos weekly as your schedule can let's say or as you are willing to do and here is the same thing you can take the clients that you want at the times that you want okay um so it's all about freedom and i think it's much better than just having you know an ordinary job sometimes way number three personal brand basically building a personal brand is a combination of the two points that i have mentioned before basically it's having your own for example youtube channel where you showcase different things and also having your profile in a other platforms such as fiverr or linkedin with this, what you are doing basically is building a community, an audience, people that follow you, however you want to call them. And more, most of them may be just purely viewers that want to know more about your contents and the projects that you create. But there will be some small yet effective, let's say, piece of people that are actually willing to buy your services or to even contract or hire you for some kind of job. And that's the people that you, you, you actually want to target. And with platforms like LinkedIn, that is so easy to do. Well, let's not say easy, but there is a lot of people and companies there that are constantly looking for people to work in their companies. So this means that you can really have a, a personal brand, having your LinkedIn profile, posting there constantly about the things that you are doing. It's not that you have to become a full-time content creator, but for example, as you are learning here, well, probably you have some projects to showcase and the best uh, place to showcase those projects would be in, with your, in your YouTube channel and in your LinkedIn, okay? And basically, you are going to be building trust, you're going to be building your own community and audience. And from there, you will also get exposure, okay? That's the most important thing here. And without exposure, opportunities will come eventually because in a personal brand, the service that you're offering what is being sold is you okay not only your services that's why it's called a personal brand because you as a person are being sold so those were all the ways that i uh, that i had to tell you about how to start getting some jobs some money in the game develop in the programming area without actually having to give up completely on your learning uh, as I was explaining, the most advantages about uh, these points are the fact that you can have your own schedule. This means that you can work with as many clients as you want at the same time and with the projects that you want. And that, for example, you can keep on learning your own stuff while, for example, posting your progress in different platforms like YouTube or LinkedIn. And at the same time, you would be building a personal brand. So these are, these are all points, all these three ways of... Uh, make money while learning how to program so i hope that all of them have been helpful for you so if there were 
please consider subscribing and liking the video because it will really help the video get to more people and probably help them as I helped you, fortunately. <laughs> so, uh, see you in the next video. Have a great day and see you. Bye-bye.